Every BFD is used with a motor. All of them drive motors. And the interesting thing about motors is they're designed to run at one speed and one speed only. It would be as if somebody sold you a car that had the accelerator set at one place. And what you used to change the speed of your car was the brake. A variable frequency drive takes the 60 hertz power that you get from the utility and changes that frequency to whatever you want on the motor. And when you do that, the motor changes speed. So instead of using the brake, now all of a sudden you have access to the gas pedal. Almost 50% of the power that we consume in the United States goes to driving motors. So if all of a sudden you can start saving energy, it has just this ripple on effect, not only from the environmental perspective, but also from an economic savings perspective. And then hopefully those are passed on to the people who use it, the customers. I've been in the Pittsburgh area for 10 years, and I've seen the Steel City transform itself to now a technology hub. And rail automation, Siemens is helping lead that effort here in the region. Rail automation is technology that controls trains. This location is primarily for the engineering of the transit PTC technology, otherwise known as ACCESS, which is the Advanced Civil Speed Enforcement Systems. Our onboard computers take the information from the locomotive or vehicle and essentially analyze that data and then display that to the operators, whether that's speed, braking curves, so they can make better decisions in their operations day to day. Some of the systems and some of the technology it goes back over 100 years. So the idea of evolving the technologies into new electronic digitization provides much more information than the old technologies. This will lead to trains moving closer together, better efficiency for the customer, more information for the passengers, the whole rider experience will improve. How many of us can go to work every day and know that what we're going to work on is going to have a positive impact? I mean, I have a, a mother who still asks me, you know, what do you do for a living? It's nice to be able to say, turn on the news. One of those stories, whether it's about oil exploration or natural gas or pollution, I'm part of the solution for that.